Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's Up America, the show where we find out exactly what's up America. With me, your host, Rory Potstein, from WHAM Radio, from the basement and in the closet. Now, it's true, I may have lost WHAM Radio, my basement and my closet, but there's one thing you can never lose, and that's America. Unless you're the English. We may take a moment for this. The song is over. The country we live in is going through a crazy time. The national news gets crazier and crazier every week. This is why I think now more than ever in America's history is the best time to focus on the news that's a little closer to home, less crazy than the tabloid-esque headlines of Washington. Do we really need to know that a porn star is suing the president? That government officials have met in the middle of the Indian Ocean to secure a back channel to Russia? That virtually no one works in the White House anymore unless you're a family member or former caddy to the president? Now, as crazy as these stories are, our statewide news has got to be more sensible than the national news. In this episode, we take a look at our very first state, Delaware. Now, what could be so crazy about little old Delaware? Delaware looks so harmless, like a cat's paw, or an Easter Island head after a divorce. <clears throat> Surely nothing too intriguing can come from the state that makes Teflon, the thing that gave John Gotti his nickname, that made by that family of that other murderer, John DuPont. But that's not all Delaware makes, they also make Jell-O. But that's not what I want to talk about today. This episode's story comes from Dewey Beach. Dewey Beach, whose motto includes its own name, Dewey Beach, a way of life. And I'm sure that's true for the 379 people who live there. That's the actual population of Dewey Beach. How to have a great way of life? Live in a community with fewer members than the average middle school. Now, Dewey Beach has been doing something a little odd recently. According to a story in the Dover Post, the Dewey Police Department have been receiving federal aid from the Defense Logistics Agency in the form of military surplus items. This in and of itself is not unusual and has included such items as jackets or parkas for personal personnel of the Dewey Police Department to use in cold weather conditions, space heaters for when residents are relocated in the event of a natural disaster, and all-terrain vehicles to patrol the beach. Now, where it gets a little weird is in the totals of these items. From 2013 to 2017, they acquired 12 all-terrain vehicles and 19 trucks. The Dewey Police Department employs eight full-time and three part-time employees. That means all members of the police department can be driving a vehicle, have 20 military surplus vehicles left over, and that isn't even including the police department's own vehicles such as police cars. Another request was made by Dewey PD for a tractor to use at a firing range. However, Dewey Beach does not have a firing range, and the PD won't disclose the location of said firing range that so desperately needs a tractor. Now, what would the Dewey Beach Police Department do with these vehicles? Remember, the population of the whole town is under 400. That means any wave of tourism can be seen as an invading army. Could it be that the Dewey Police Department is prepared for an invading force equipped with coolers, beach towels, and AARP discounts? Will we see a second revolutionary war in Delaware, this time for its own independence from the nation that has been its oppressor since 1776? Or is it that according to these guidelines of this program, Dewey Beach PD is allowed to sell or scrap most of these vehicles acquired after one calendar year. As the story is still unfolding and we don't have all the answers, I reach out to Delaware resident Jeff Wimbley for his opinion. All right, Rory. I think if Dewey Beach wants to build themselves an army to protect us, to protect the border, now the Atlantic Ocean is the border, I got nothing wrong with that. I'm going to be out there trying to catch a wave, trying to hang ten, Trying to go surfing safari. Somebody wants to take my gun? I don't think so. Dewey Beach is going to protect my way of life. Okay, uh, I've heard everything you had to say, Jeff. Uh, just a question. Uh, you got a Hawaiian shirt on, camouflage, a cowboy hat. I, I, I don't understand. Are, are you a gun nut, uh, a, a surfer, uh, a, a cowboy? Uh, Jeff, what are you? Rory? I'm an American. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. All right, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Stay tuned for more to find out what's up, America. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free.